Yeah, baby, it's scandalous and it's marvelous if you like mess. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And I just got a little short video I'm going to do because I knew it was going to be some mess. And thank you for coming back to another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, can, and I will. Okay, yes, this is bad. I told y'all the raindrops was going to start falling. And sure enough, we got Miss Stormy, Portia Williams' cousin on her mama's side, out there trying to defame, trying to deregulate, trying to destroy Portia Williams' ex fiance Dennis McKinley. Yeah, I told you this show was a complete train wreck. Total, isolated, unduplicated catastrophe. And all them family secrets was going to come out one by one. Because she had some thirsty people up there. Okay, they don't understand the whole altitude and altitude of being on reality shows. And things you have to do and things you can't do. Child Storm is over there. Time my Dennis assaulted her. And she got pictures on her Instagram account. Is that Instagram shots or Twitter? It looks like it's Twitter. Oh, it might be Twitter, guys. But go, her handle name is Stormy. S-T-O-R-M-Y, comma, A-B-S-N, dash, S. I guess she's trying to become a nurse or something. Uh, Georgia State University. But she is over there showing assault charges of a, like somebody punched her or scratched her on her face and her lip. The exposure is definitely there. Uh, don't know why no charges were formulated allegedly. But then I told y'all a long time ago, when you're on Bravo show, you cannot press charges you get what you get. They probably pay you in the back end and in the front end to forget the incident. Same thing what happened with Nene Lee. Same thing that happened um, on Merit the Medicine when um, Lisa and uh, Quad got into it. it. You just can't sue. Okay. You got to be in the play or be in playing the part. Of your character or your real life situation that you're going through on the show. You got to play it through through its totality. Because you can't sue. But honey, Stormy is breaking out a lot of allegations towards Mr. McKinley. And that's Dennis I'm speaking of. So whoo-wee. You talking about some court battles may come this year, allegedly. Child. If Portia was jealous, she going down a wrong road. And she, she having her family do her dirty work. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. She's going to be an outcast just like Nene. But anyway, if you, like I said, if you go on her Twitter account or her Instagram account. Because my daughter sent me this information. It's Stormy, S-T-O-R-M-Y, uh, comma, A-B-S-N, slash S. She wrote on her um, I'm thinking it's Twitter. It's not Instagram. But anyway, she wrote Dennis physically assaulted me in Mexico. I've been silent long enough. This man has sexually harassed me. And now a grown ass 40 plus year old man physically assaulted me in Mexico. I'm sick of it. And she hashtag Portia's Family Matters. She said Dennis is a pedophile. I was 18 slash 19 back when I worked for him and sexually harassed me the entire time I worked in his establishment. I am a lesbian. We did not ever see each other outside of work. And I have messages. Stop the, I'm guessing, harassment emoji. Nobody want his fat ass. Again, she's tagging Porsche Family Matters. It's, and then she goes on to say, this man sexually harassed me for months until I quit. I was not fired at hashtag Porsche Family Matters. I just got another job. Now I'm like, this kind of publicity can mix up people's livelihoods. Okay, allegedly. If we go and just have some similarity between what Portia tried to do to Candy Burris. Remember that? Whole big old fiasco. Candy was saying that stuff put out on her could damage her uh, financially. 
emotionally, spiritually, any other other things you want to put on that list. It could hurt her. Now you got Storm coming out. Just already was on the show. Knowing it wasn't flattering for anybody involved. But they took their chances. They threw their cautions to the wind. And it just is what it is. But this young lady is coming out on somebody who's reputable in the community. As doing fine work. Uh, employing a lot of uh, minorities. And um, and just being a good pillar of society. And Portia's try- family on her mom's side is trying to wreck the image. And if you think Miss Gina is going to go silent into the night. When her name is attached to all those businesses as well. You got another thing coming Storm. And she's going to come in with all barrels lot loaded and ready to spray. You thought you should be scared of Kenya more. Shoot. You mess with a 50 or 60 plus year old woman that been working all her life. Being an entrepreneurship or probably working for somebody else till she got into that format. You think you gonna, she going to let somebody like you or Portia come take what she don't work hard for? Girl, please, baby. I tell you, I can't wait for the other stuff to come out. I'm sure Dom going to come out with some stuff too on Dennis. And it's just going to make him his case a little bit better. Because I'm sure with this coming out and Portia trying to throw salt on his name about he don't pay child support. He don't do this, that, and the third. But it was all good and gravy. Good rice and gravy. Mashed potatoes running with the steak or whatever. With the buttermilk biscuits. When you were with him, everything was kosher. Everything was like, oh, I got a man who got money. This, that, and the third. I like his personality. He made me laugh. He good in the bed. We travel. This, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Very fun to be with. But just because you didn't want to sign that prenup, everything went to south. Everything went south. Everything went left. So you thought you were going to get your older man trying to be over there with any leaks. Okay? Ooh, child. The rain just keep on falling and the thunder just keep on clapping. And Portia, this is a bad, bad situation. And I want to say, if I am not for certain, somebody else did this story. And I kind of glanced over it because I really didn't find any validity in it uh, at the time because they were showing the show. But child... You know, I ain't going to dismiss anybody's alleged uh, allegations on somebody that they felt did them wrong. But I'm going to say it's very questionable that since she really wasn't shown, meaning Storm, Stormy, wasn't shown in a positive light, then, um, you know, what really could have happened here? But I know it is a YouTube personality person. Um, Her... YouTube station is called Generational Viewpoints. She does an article on um, Portia Williams' cousin. She calls it Portia Williams' cousin Storm threatens or is threatening to expose. Um, let me see. Hold on. It's threatening to expose Dennis on Twitter. So, yeah, it's on Twitter, the account. Um where I was reading from or what she was saying about Dennis and this, that, and the third. But, yeah, she is over there on her Twitter account accusing Mr. Dennis McKinley and trying to expose him of assault and sexual um, assault as well. Um, it's, it's crazy. And this is Portia William Cousin Storm threatening to do this. I mean, she's not only going to hurt Dennis, but she's going to hurt her cousin's daughter and you know in the whole grand scheme of things see that's what i'm saying you put too many people on shows they get to acting crazy and you know it's just it's too much some people can't handle that type of stardom or they want it for themselves so you know it, it just seems like broken heart broken family broken promises broken dreams and it all goes back to this generational curse that's traveling through portia williams uh, family, I tell you, because Jose Williams' daughter, she wasn't taking that mess. She said, "Uh, uh-uh. 
This is not how the Jose Williams side get down. We we diplomat over here. We kosher. We take everything in stride. And we talk things out. We don't have people sitting at our table that's definitely not a part of our family biologically. Or they inherit themselves in by the acts of kindness and love that they've shown our family. You know how you make people your family even though they're not uh, tr- uh, true blood and bred uh, biologically instilled in your family. Placed in you invite them in because they've been through the struggles. They've been with you like four flat tires when you were down and out and had nobody to turn to other than the Lord. And that's all you needed, really. But sometimes we need that physical touch of an earthly person with us on this plane of existence to help us along that God sends angels or angels in human bodily forms to help us get through. Okay? But I'm like, ooh. Child, this is scandalous. This is scandalous. I ain't got my voice back yet, but you know when I be ready to hit them high notes. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. It's gonna, it's gonna be on like popcorn, like it usually scroll. But we can, we can, we can tread water here. We can just uh, tiptoe around until we get our voice back, and we're feeling better in our chest, and and the uh, sniffing is kind of si- <coughs> excuse me subsided. I just wanted to like enlist y'all into something else that I was working on. I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking about. When you pull the plug out on some mess of water, you best believe somebody going to keep some of that mess, hold on to it, and use it at the opportunity time that they wants to make money off that situation that she had her family be a part of. Child, I tell you, a hot mess. A hot mess. That's all I have for this video, guys. When you're coming in the door, make sure you hit that like button. When you're leaving, make sure you hit that subscribe button. When you open the door to let yourself out and share the video, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love y'all so much. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.